Is it? Welcome to Popcorn Palace. Hi, Mandy Signor. I just wanted an excuse to play that again. We're live, and I'm now uh, st time stamping our main story here, which is yes, inside Harry and Meghan's split rumors, cash woes, separate jobs, friends' denials. So much is coming in today about this divorce, and I want to talk about it with you guys. And I want to get your vote. We have a live audience watching. I'm putting a poll out. In fact, I'm typing it now. Do you think Megan and Harry will get divorced? If you're watching on the replay, leave a comment. Um, and uh, there we go. I've asked. I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think this too? And I'm talking like in the next you know, recently, five, ten years. Do you think they're actually going to get divorced? I want to hear your thoughts and I want to see your vote. I'm curious how big of a yes and a no that is. And I'll reveal it to you guys in a second. All right. But let's get into the latest report here coming in from the mirror. Powell has jumped in to the defense of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after nasty rumors about the relationship began to swirl amid reports that their careers are headed in different directions. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, my instinct, red flag number one, the fact that they've sent a friend out to deny it makes me think there is a divorce coming more so because it's just like damage control. Uh... Right out the gate, it's like, well, why? Why did you send someone out to play defense? If you don't have no worry, who cares what the, the people think? They, they think the worst things about you. But this is the thing you're going to go try to defend? It's weird. It's weird. All right, but this pal has come in to defend. Let's get to it. It's certainly been a roller coaster of a year so uh, for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. That's true. Kicked off with the release of his controversial memoir, Spare, and the fallout that ensued after its explosive claims about King Charles and Prince William. There was also the issue of the coronation, which Harry attended alone. The news of their multi-million um, dollar deal with Spotify ended after quite a few months for the couple. Some have wondered what their next career moves would be, especially since Meghan signed with a major agency. It's true, that is a major agency, WME. Um, and now they have been hit with nasty rumors about the relationship being on the rocks, which a friend has now said is not true, and literally made up as they plot their next moves. Harry is said to be due to, to head to South Africa to shoot a Netflix documentary, while Megan, um, sorry, just had lunch and it's still there. While Megan, there it's gone. While Megan is apparently due to stay behind in Los Angeles while working on new projects with the kids, I imagine. Uh, here we take a look inside the unfounded split rumors that are plaguing them. All right, so they say the fallout from Spare. Up until... Uh, up until uh, the turn of the year, Harry and Meghan's post-royal projects tend to involve both of them until the release of Spare. That's when Harry went solo. It's memoir, but I'm, I'm sure she was very involved in that book. Harry's memoir was released in January, included claims that physically uh, by William and that King Charles put uh, King Charles put his own interests above his son's. I mean, he's going to be the king. I could see that maybe. He also made allegations against his stepmother, Queen Camilla, and claims she sacrificed me on her personal PR altar. Harry promoted the book alone, carrying out several high-profile interviews where he spoke candidly about his experiences, but soon after, a source claimed that Meghan was understood to have been more wary than him when it came to his memoir project. Ha! Ha ha! Bull. Bull. Red flag. Red flag. Eh. I don't believe that for a second. I don't believe for a second Megan let anything out that she didn't have some say over. Not a chance. Not a chance. They told the Telegraph that media savvy Megan may have voiced general gentle concerns about it. Releasing the memoir was the right move. This is Megan PR. And I got a video next week with a, a special guest who breaks it down. Did she leak that? Is she leaking stuff to try to make him look bad? I got a lot of stuff coming next week. We have a lot of conversations. I hope you'll tune in on both channels next week as we break it all down because I I think there's a lot more to this. A lot more to this. Um, but anyway, now all these reports come that Megan didn't want to do the book and blah, 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 blah. Don't buy that. However, once Harry decided to press ahead with the project, she is said to have offered her him her full support. Okay. Source said, uh, is this the way she would have approached things? Possibly not but she will always back him and would never have gotten involved in promoting such a personal project. This was about his own life, his journey, and his own perspective. Says the woman who went on Oprah to air all the grievances and talk about the racism. Says the woman who let camera crews into her home 
to film her and her children for Netflix. Says the woman who created Archetypes, Spotify podcast where she goes in on her experiences. Well, give me a break, girl. You didn't want to have him write a book. You were going to write your own book. You were going to write your own book, you dummy. And now you're going to try to spin it. Well, I didn't want him to write the book. Oh, piss off, you cowbag. I'm turning into Steph. Piss off, you cowbag. <laughs> that was the most genuine turn to Steph I think I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, she literally wrote the book. Thank you, to uh, Tom. It's this idea that she didn't write the book. Nonsense. Coronation invite. Once the dust had settled and spare attention turned to King Charles coronation. And if Harry and Meghan would attend, given the distance, after much speculation, Harry would attend, but Meghan wouldn't. Now, I still think the royal said, do not bring her. And he was like, fine. You better show respect to me if you ever want to have a relationship with your father. And he needed to. Let's be real. He needed to. He could have made a big showy thing. He could have dragged Meghan along. I will say it wasn't as big a deal. And it, it is a sign that they're trying to smooth it out. Because I think they realize the press is not actually helping them as much as they thought. Um, but it was on the fourth birthday of their oldest child, Prince Archie. So Meghan just stayed home with him and Princess Lilibet. Princesses. They got to keep these princess titles. Um, love that photo. Uh, however, Harry and Meghan were, were apart for, weren't apart for long. Prince made a fleeting visit back. Different careers. I mean, I don't think that had anything to do with it. I don't think that had anything to do with the divorce. <clears throat> I think that was just for both of their careers. It, it helped. They did the best move they could do for both of them. I will give them that one. Different careers. Uh, the first sign that Harry and Meghan would be pursuing projects of their own came when it emerged the Duchess had signed with a major Hollywood talent agency. She signed with William Morris Endeavor. And uh, Megan and the firm are believed to be working on film and TV production, brand partnerships, and overall business building. The agency said at the time, we are honored to announce that WNE now represents Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, in all areas. I think that helps both their brands because it's money. And I do think even though she probably doesn't want to work, it's smart that he lets her work and tells her to go do the agency. So I don't see him being mad that she wants to go sign with the agency he may be mad at her sort of um desire to be you know famous rich and famous i could see that being annoying for him but i don't know if that's the deal breaker in this but this is not what it is and now they're doing their separate projects if anything i would think that could help the marriage because then they are less around each other and they have their own things to focus on um yeah, I don't know. That one that one makes me pause for a second. Harry is not including the deal and one brand expert says he believed the couple may have realized they can earn more by working on their own passion projects. I mean, that also, let's be honest. I know we love to, to make, take knocks on Megan and Harry, but this is good for anybody. <laughs> not, let's not just say it's good for their brands. This is just good for anybody to have their own things to do, their own identities, their own passions, their own hobbies. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think that, I, if anything, I could see this being helpful in their marriage so they have their own things to focus on so they're not angry at each other. You know what I mean? So this one, the more I look at it, the romantic in me says that this is the couple spot splitting their career path in order to fully commit to their passion projects, but the commercial cynic in me says that the power couple have realized they could potentially earn more by dividing and conqueror. conquering. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, two incomes, two different, <clears throat> excuse me, two different places, potentially. When Harry rumored to be off in a film series in Africa, it's no surprise to see Megan heading off to a region where the per brand may have historically struggled to win over fans in order to reinforce their global appeal and make them more attractive potential brands wishing to sign them up. However, I mean, that's true. If they wanted to be the brand, the royal couple brand, they that's not going to happen anymore. But I don't think they can afford to... D if Megan... See, now I'm thinking, and, and it's it's processing. My brain... We're allowed to have difference of opinions and change in minds. It's true. If Megan came into this relationship... Wanting to be the power couple, the power royal couple. Here's my prince. And now she's realizing he's not helping and that's not working. And she's not going to go back to acting and can't go with him to Africa. That could be a marital, a marital problem, absolutely. So, okay, I'm coming around. I could see that this is a reason why I could. Um, but I also think it could be good for them to take apart and do their own things. <laughs> money worries. Now, this one, I believe, is a huge part of it. And that comes to the money with the work, too. Um, 
Money worries. The couple's $15 million deal with Spotify came to an abrupt end last month, and sources claim it sent the pair into a tailspin, with one claiming they are under tremendous financial pressure to fund their lavish California lifestyle, including their $14 million mansion and huge security costs. That stress, coupled with their emotional issues, has likely made it made their life a living hell, the source added. The last public sighting of Meghan and Harry together was at July 4th when they took their children to a local parade. Uh, and since then, the ugly rumors have circulated regarding their relationship on gossip sites falsely insinuating they are spending time apart. But an insider close to the couple told Page Six, it's not true, it's literally made up. Omid Scooby, one of the authors behind the biography Finding Freedom, also rubbished the claim on social media. A close friend of the Duke and the Duchess has now come forward to deny these rumors of trouble in paradise. Uh, this is odd to me. Now, this they're coming forward after all this radar online saying that they're taking this trial separation, taking time apart to rebuild, to figure out what hit them. Harry doesn't fit in Meghan's tacky Tinseltown world, a source told the outlet. However, an insider close to the couple who wed in uh, May 2018 assures Page Six that any speculation of a breakup is false. It's not true. It's literally made up. As we previously, God, they have so many ads here. As we previously reported, Harry made his return to Africa. We know all this. But I, the source added that the Sussex who moved uh, are under tremendous financial pressure. It's make them a living hell. Do we have more from this co co uh, uh, a source? Meanwhile, an anonymous tipster told Dumois that Paris sold their mansion in Montecito and Harry was living in another place. That'll be big news when it, when it actually is confirmed, if that's the case. Self-proclaimed curators of pop culture behind the celeb gossip site responded, not sure if the house was sold, but I had a couple of weeks ago, heard a couple of weeks ago, he was staying somewhere else there. Despite the public spats with their loved ones, widespread backlash to their various personal projects, and business ventures, Radar Online source claims that the duo's Spotify failure was a game changer in their relationship. Hmm. Last month, Harry met. Yeah, because look, I do. I want to pause there because they, this is a reason. I could see Megan being very upset at Harry for not delivering on his end. Because sure, we can blame Megan easily because her show sucked. She's not a good talent there. And she, you could tell that show was boring. She couldn't get the guest she hoped, right? But Harry did nothing. <laughs> like, Harry did nothing. And they lost money. There was money on the table that they could have earned and gotten it that they didn't get to get because Harry didn't want to do a podcast. And when you're stressing about money and trying to keep up your insanely expensive house, you, to turn down money like that because you're like, meh, I don't want to do a comedy with a, a comedian and me talking about stuff. Why not? Get the money, idiot. You dummy. It's just bizarre to me. So I, I could see that the Spotify deal, the press of it, the, the backlash of people, including Bill Simmons and others and Jeremy Zimmer, all that stuff was like a boom, 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 boom on an already maybe fractured relationship. That could have been pretty bad. At the time, insiders told us the couple struggled to come up with any great ideas for the auto program. Harry was reported to have pitched this idea. We talked about that, about interviewing Trump, Putin, Zuckerberg, and Pope Francis. Uh, and yes, they're, they're effing grifters is what it was called. So that embarrassment ordeal caped a disastrous discern of PR, which included the mocked claim that they were victims of the paparazzi-fueled high-speed New York chase. Um, and uh, yeah, all that has just not helped them. Meanwhile, Royal Expert claims that Megan, who shares four-year-old son and two-year-old li little bit with Harry, is looking to establish her own brand and make millions, meaning that for the first time, they're truly divergent professional paths. So this source, this big source, just said it's not true. There it is. But what do you guys think? I asked you in a poll... And you guys say 87% of you, 87% said, yes, I think they're going to get divorced. 13% said no. It's like, it's crazy. There's a lot like, uh, there's a part of me that thinks like they can't get divorced. The complications of it, the bad press, the, the kids, there's a lot going on that, that I could see them just sort of wanting to stay together for the sake of brand and not actually wanting to do it the legalities of like him in the UK, her in California. There's so much to that thing. It's like, I don't think it's possible. It'd be fascinating if that happened. And I don't think it's, I don't think there's a, every couple can have their problems, right? But will they really push it that far? It would go against everything that they've been painting optically from a brand perspective, even as recent as last year. 
So they would look like immense hypocrites. And I don't think they like looking like hypocrites. They don't. So I, 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 while I see why a lot of you probably want them to and think they're going to, I'm in the no camp. I don't think they're going to do it. I mean, a lot nine times soon. I'd be shocked. It's definitely possible, but I'd be shocked if they actually went that way. But yeah, it seems it seems incredibly unlikely. But it's not going to stop. These divorce rumors are going to keep plaguing them. We're going to see it more and more, and I, we're going to report on them because that's what you guys want to keep gossiping about. But this is straight gossip right now. And the friend has said it's not true. So these reports out there of them fighting and bickering and divorcing, I think we might need to wait a little bit if that's what you're hoping for. It's kind of mean. <laughs> it's kind of mean, guys, that that's really what we we're just waiting for them to to stop it and break up. Uh, I don't wish that on anybody, man. I don't wish that on them. I don't like these two, but I don't hate them. But that's the difference. I think a lot of you guys hate them and you really want them to be divorced. Would you forgive Harry then? If he was like wised up and was out of her control? What, how do you, how do you, how do either of these people ever get in your good graces? I don't think they ever can. So it'll be fascinating to see how this all plays out. I think they're going to stay quiet for a little while. There's still going to be a lot of rumors, but I will say to, to see that they've gotten their friend out there to deny that there's trouble in paradise to me is more telling than if they had said nothing. If there was no trouble in paradise, you say nothing. You ignore it. You don't care what they say. Why would you need to put a friend out to say that's not that's nonsense? It just doesn't make sense. Why even respond? Don't respond to the haters. Don't give them what they want. You don't. And that's better. And sure, people will continue to speculate. It keeps going, going. But eventually people will move on. Maybe not on this topic. <laughs> but that's what we got. I want to talk about Air Force One next and so much more. I am going to clip that. We're going to save this for the uh, members only portion. What? That's coming soon. So stay tuned. Uh, I'll probably put this one on unlisted, but just so I can help you guys find the shorter version. That's our video for this, our main topic. Check it out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description, the unlisted version where you can watch the full one. And eventually we may have a, a smaller membership tier where you guys can start getting the replays from the Fridays eventually like we do on Popcorn Planet, but that's uh, where I want to make my cut point. So if you're seeing this, that means the video's over for now. But we talked longer in our lives, so catch me live every Friday here on Popcorn Palace, and don't forget to subscribe over on Popcorn Planet.